covers it up. Now I'll go ahead and do a speed test. It's not going to be a full one. It's just going to be kind of a quick one. I'll do a full one hopefully in another video. I have like 30,000 videos I have to do with these. So the iPhone 11, as we all pretty much know, has that Apple A13 Bionic chip, hex core CPU with four gigabytes of RAM on each model. With the iPhone 12 has that Apple A14 Bionic chip, hex core CPU and four gigabytes on each model here. So let's go and see which one is the fast one between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, let me go ahead and get a good thumbnail. Let me go ahead and clear out on all the apps in the background. Should only take a second. Are we already walked out? Okay, so the iPhone 12 is already done. Now, I did download a lot of similar apps between these. I'm probably not going to get through every single one, but let's do phone, 3, 2. Okay, I already screwed it up. Let me just open it up here. <laughs> Safari, 3, 2, 1. Let me go and load up some web pages. Let me just open up this one for sure. Let's go on Apple, 3, 2, 1. And iPhone 12, oh, that was some... Difference. I didn't even think there was going to be a difference here. I thought it was a pretty basic test, but as you kind of saw scrolling through, they both are going to be kind of the same. The iPhone 12 is just sliding all over the place, so if you're keeping it on a table, it's going to slide. New music, 3, 2, 1. Similar pop-ups, I'm sure. Okay, oh, thank God. And I'm kind of seeing now that the iPhone 12 panel does look a lot warmer than the iPhone 11's panel. And I don't know what's going on here, so I'll probably give that one to the iPhone 12. App Store, 3, 2, 1. And you can definitely see the iPhone 12 was faster there. I don't know how much of this is a network issue. So I'll let you guys kind of, you know, beef about it in the comment section. If it's network or if it's phone speed, scrolling through, they look about the same on both two. So not a ginormous difference here. And even kind of just the animation seem about the same on both. Even just like the few apps that I downloaded, they both kind of seem the same. We can do calendar three, two, one. Pretty sure I'm going to get 50 pop-ups on both about the same. We can do clock three, two, one. A little bit of a glitch it seemed like on the iPhone 11, but it still seemed fine. I want to do settings, 3, 2, 1. Now that was a pretty basic app and you kind of still saw there that the iPhone 12 may have been a little bit faster. So that was pretty interesting too. Now I have a bunch of these third party apps that well, I guess we can go and get into. You can do Snapchat, which I'm already logged into here, so I'm not going to do it. We can do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And it looks like the iPhone 12 is noticeably faster. And, you know, I've seen time and time again, some phones are faster, some phones are slower. It looks to be here that the iPhone 12 may actually be noticeably faster. And if you remember last year with my iPhone 10s versus my iPhone 11 or whatever, I don't remember. I was seeing that they were pretty close hand in hand. There wasn't really one that was like, I was like, wow, it's so much faster. They both were hand in hand. It wasn't until I got to like the iPhone 10 that I was starting to see pretty big differences. Both a 3, 2, 1, or maybe even the iPhone 7. They were, they were like the iPhone 10 to 10s were really good phones. This one, okay, was whatever. Dropbox, three, two, one. Okay, iPhone 12 was definitely faster there. Quizlet, three, two, one. iPhone 12 again, faster, just by a little bit. Netflix, three, two, one. I don't want to make iPhone 11 users feel super bad about owning a phone like this because it's really not that slow. And it's so funny, right when I said that, the slowest app just opened. <laughs> we can do Snake vs. Blocks, three, two, one. It just seems like I'm seeing like really consistent speed on the iPhone 12. It seems to be consistently faster. Typically, it's like one app's a little bit faster on one phone than the next one is faster. And I mean, I've seen it time and time again with the most Android phones that came out this year, the Galaxy S20, Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8T. But this one seems to be consistently faster than its predecessor. Thank you. Three, two, one. And I think I even saw it last year with the iPhone 11, like sometimes the 11 was faster, sometimes the 10R. This one, iPhone 12, again, is the faster one here. Now, I said before in the conspiracy, but I'm not even going to say it again. Stack, three, two, one. I don't think you guys really want to hear it anymore. I'm like ranting today, dude. <laughs> I think the iPhone 12 was slightly faster. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. I've been having really bad luck with Fruit Ninja recently, too. For some reason, it's not opening on any of my devices. But it looks like the iPhone 12, again, is a faster one here. Getting into Facebook, three, two, one. Pretty fast here. I guess I was logged in. I didn't even know I was logged in here. <laughs> Twitter, three, two, one iPhone 12 again is the faster one. Instagram, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna say this one, but again, I was logged in here, so a little bit different. Paper IO2, three, two, one. And Paper IO2 was faster on the iPhone 12. Now, it's a pretty big game, so I kinda wanna get into some gameplay and already died on that phone, but I mean, I we kinda saw that the iPhone 12 was faster still. We can go and end it off with the Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. I think this has been the most consistent speed comparison that I've done. It didn't have to download on any phone. It didn't have to like reboot on anything. It just was kind of, you know, there, which I'm really happy about. Usually I have to redo this like 50,000 times. The iPhone 12 was faster there, as you guys saw again, with the iPhone 11 was a little bit slower. 
Now, this is my consensus from the speed comparison. In my opinion, I think the iPhone 12, as you guys saw, I'm not even trying to make this up. It's not like I did it behind you guys' back. RAM management was pretty much the same though, but speed wise, I think the iPhone 12 is the consistently faster one and I'm not scared to say it. I think the iPhone, did you guys just see that? Why did the iPhone 12 just reboot that where the iPhone 11 was able to keep that in the background? That is very weird. I'm going to continue doing this. I mean, I've seen time and time again, sometimes the newer phones have bad time at RAM management and it seems to be the case kind of, uh, that one was kind of close. This one looked like it rebooted too. I speed wise though, the iPhone 12 is definitely the faster one. I'm not scared to say it. I think the iPhone 12 is the faster one. RAM management though, I mean, they have the same amount of RAM. So I'm kind of seeing, I guess the same type of, you know, rebooting going on both. Yeah, I think it's fair to say they both kind of are rebooting the same exact times, but it's still kind of weird. I was expecting maybe a little bit better in RAM management from the iPhone 12. As you can see, the iPhone 11 did reboot there. I will probably tell you the iPhone 12 is the faster 100%. I'm not even going to say it's a little bit slower. It is 100% faster. The iPhone, but at RAM management, I don't know what's going on with it. I will probably say I'm expecting more from this device in RAM management. It's not really fair that a device like an iPhone 11 that you know has been out for a year is outperforming an iPhone 12, a brand new phone that costs more than it in a RAM management section, which is about half, you know, speed wise, you know, so it's very important that I'm testing that out. I usually skip it, but I'm super happy that I kept it in. So it did reboot the clock. Hopefully this one keeps it. That one did reboot it too. So um, in my full comparison, I'm probably going further, but I don't want to make this video 40 minutes long. So RAM management, I'm, uh, it's kind of in the middle. They both are probably about the same, but speed wise, the iPhone 12 is the fast one for sure. Now it's going.